Hey guys, Madam Ro here today, and I have some an exciting project that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, this is one of my design team projects for Two Shabby Sisters Studio, and I'm absolutely in love with the outcome of this project. Um, this project was inspired by a picture that I seen on Pinterest um, that led to a blog called Altered Alchemy, and she makes this metal um, jewelry pieces. It's very unique, very different, and um, she made um, this book pendant um, with real pages in it and everything. And on her blog, she has like um, a little fairy tale that goes with um, the book that the book pendant that she made. So I was super inspired by that, and I wanted to make um, an altered book. So, but instead of making mine a pendant, I actually used a uh, a regular sized book. So, without further ado, let me go ahead and show you what I did. So this is the book that I made, um, and it is a fairy tale, and it has a little storyline to go with it, and I will share that with you guys um, in a second. So the paper line I used was the Prima Rondell collection, and you can't really tell on the front, but on the side of the book in the back, you'll be able to um, see the paper very well. Um, I did it in mixed media, which I'm super addicted to doing mixed media. Um, so that's what I did. And let's see. So I don't even know where to start. So the, the front of the book, I wanted to make look like a door. So um, I wanted the focal point of this book to be this um, door knocker right here. And this is just an arty cake charm that I got from Michael's. Um, then I got this charm here to add to the fairy tale theme, um, from Hobby Lobby. They have a, um, a jewelry collection called Fairy Tales. And, um, so that's what I used for that. You're going to hear my son in the background. And, um, I took the packaging from, um, that charm and I cut it and it just says, um, I used the fairy tale of that. Um, whenever I seen it, I was like, yes, it matches the color scheme. I'm going to go ahead um, and put that on my project. So um, that's what I did there. And then right here, um, you see this um, keyhole right here. And I also got this from the jewelry section at Hobby Lobby. The brand is called Explorer, I think. Um, and this comes with two keyholes for 99 cents. Um, and then this key right here that I have um, inserted in the door is from the Tim, Tim Holtz lock and keyhole um, combo pack that they have. And so I use this bobble here um, to symbolize the door handle. So that's the part that I use to make it look like a book. Um, and then I rolled this, the paper here. Um, this is part of the Rondell collection as well. Um, just to add more of the focal point to this door knocker. Um, and then coming on down here, um, the stuff that I use from Two Shabby Sisters Studio Store for my design team packet um, are these flowers. And um, and I, I started on this project way before I got my second shipment in. So uh, they sent me two packets for the design team, and so I wasn't able to really use the laces yet. So I used all the uh, majority of the flowers on here um, is, um, are from... Well, actually, all the flowers, minus the rolled roses, um, are from the Too Shabby Sister Studio store. Um, and I use these little flowers over here as well. And I have a flower there. And then, so, I use these, um, I think these are calla lilies, I believe. I'm not good with flower names, but I believe that those are the calla lilies that I showed you on my design team, uh, video not my design team my design team packet video um so that's what i did use there and then um i have these tim Holt light bulbs that i got from i'll show you from this angle that i got from tuesday morning and i use these um to make these rolled flowers i use the, the pages from the inside of this book um 
Then I have this uh, honeycomb tool that I got from um, Hobby Lobby as well, just to add some more texture here. Um, then I added this key right here. That's also from the Tim Holtz key and keyhole pack. Um, I got, I used this little clock piece here that I got from Hobby Lobby um, and their spare parts. Um, and then I, uh, these nuts and bolts I got from Goodwill in a big packet of like a whole bunch of just nuts and bolts and screws and all that stuff. And they basically just gave it to me because they were trying to get rid of it. So I was like, I'll gladly take it. So I can use it for my media, mixed media projects. Um, then I have these little, um, uh, little, my mom went blank, but these little metal pieces here, um, they're gears is what they're called, metal gears here and here. And then this was also inspired by a Pinterest picture that I've seen. And this is a zipper heart. You can't really see all of it because this um, light bulb right there is, is blocking it. But um, uh, I, I used a zipper that I got from Walmart and made it into a little zipper heart right here. And then coming up, um, I got this little... This all this texture here is from an applique that I got from um, Pam, the who is the one and only grand here on YouTube. Thanks, Pam. I got that from her in a rack, um, and then um, I used some of my little uh, masks using texture paint. Um, I have a little cloth mask that I got from MB Treasuries this shop, um, and I used texture paste to um, make it look you know more dimensional. And then this piece right here is not part of the mask. It's actually a little clock piece from the spare parts from Hobby Lobby. And you can see a little bit of the paper uh, there. And then I use this doily that I got from Leslie in a, in a rack. In one of the swaps we did, she sent that to me. And then I use another mask here. Let me put the book this way, see if you could see it better. Yeah. So, oh, and you can see the colors are a lot more vibrant this way. Um, so I use a mask here. Uh, it's it's like the key and script mask. I got it from MB Treasuries to shop as well. Um, and it says key right there, and, I, and there's a key here. I actually didn't even do that on purpose. It just ended up that way. So what I did uh, to the book, um, I went over it with gesso, and then um, after I added all the stuff on, I went over it with gesso, and I used a lot of the Lindy's sprays, but um, um, the perimeter of the book, you can see uh, this texture here. And that is actually a technique that I learned from Faith Chick 777 She has a tutorial on it. Um, and what she did was mix sand and paint together to get this texture. And um, so I'll put the link down below to her tutorial so you guys can check that out. And I just um, kind of put the little texture, black texture paint, um, just around the perimeters and on a few of the little um, charms and stuff that I put on the piece. And then um, I, this area, area here, I knew I wanted to do a gradient effect. So I put some turquoise in there, some turquoise acrylic paint, but I didn't really like the way that it, it, it looked. So I went over it with some purple metallic paint, but I left some of the turquoise still showing. So you'll see like bits and pieces of the little turquoise, um, you know, just randomly placed in different in different spots and um, on the Lindy sprays it's best to use I notice on a darker surface so um, the little purple tint that you see in the darker areas are from the Lindy sprays um, and then as the gradient comes in to the middle most of that is just Lindy sprays and not the acrylic paint so um, that's what I did there I'm gonna set this up so you can see one last look of it so I'm super excited about how this turned out. So now I'm going to open the, the book up 
and show you guys the inside of it. So this is what it looks like on the inside. And I have, since it's a fairy tale book, I wrote a story here of what this book represents. Um, and I have what I did with, with the inside of the book. And this is what took a long time. This actually, this whole project actually took me four days to create. It took like a, a absolute long time. You have to have patience. Uh, but um, since I had my son, it took me a little bit longer than it normally would. But um, what I did was I cut a hole in each of the pages and that is what took the longest. And using a industrial razor blade, um, you can only probably cut like that many sheets of paper at a time. So yeah, that took me like about five or six hours to cut all these papers. And you can see how thick this book is. And I actually ripped some of the pages out of here to give it more of a rugged look. Um, and it still took forever. <laughs> so um, I got this paper here that's top paper from Hobby Lobby. It's like the scripted paper. Um, and laid it over the top of the the regular page in the book. Um, and then I added this chicken wire that I got from Lowe's because um, I wanted the heart to look caged in. So um, I added this key and then I also did use some of that um, texture paint with the sand in it um, and just add it there to give it more of a rustic old feel. And then I have this charm also from the fairy tale collection says far far away and when I tell you the story then you'll see what that represented and then um, I added this heart paper mache heart in there and put this Tim Holtz um, lock or keyhole in there so here I wanted to bind the pages because um, it already took me a long time to um, cut the pages and actually distress all the edges of the pages and um, out, uh, ink it so I bound the book with this chain, which I got um, from a necklace from my, that my sister gave me. I also added a little texture um, paint on there as well. And this lock is also from Two Shabby Sisters Studios. So be sure to go check her out. Um, this also comes at Keys, but I didn't want to use that um, on my project. So I just used the lock. So And I love the, how it, it, turn, it turned out without using the lock. Um, and then I used this piece, um, this was actually, um, on the burlap that they sent me, it was tied around the burlap. And my son is being super loud. So, um, I used that to, um, just add some more of an old nature feel to it. So, um, over here, I, I used some burlap from the two Chevy Sisters Studio store as well. There. And then... I'm going to have to come back. Okay, so you guys, I have my son in my hands. I'm going to try to finish up this video. So it might be a little shaky. Um, but the whole concept of this book and then the fairy tale, which goes along with the story, is that um, there was this princess from a land far, far away. And that's where I included the charm with. She um, gave her heart to this prince. Um, she reluctantly gave it to him because she was, you know, nervous because she didn't want her heart to be broken. So the prince promised her that he would take care of her heart and protect it. So she gave him, the prince, her heart. He took her heart and he placed it in a, one of his favorite books to keep it protected and shielded. Um, he caged it in and put it under lock and key so um, the name of the book the name of the story is called locked away and that's what he did to her heart he locked it away to keep it safe so that way he can keep his promise to her and the prince and the princess lived happily ever after so basically the gist of um, the story is right here so I'm going to show you a close-up of this heart so this part of the book opens up so you can take the heart in and out I'm going to try to do this with one hand because I have my son in the other one. So this is what the heart looks like. And like I said, this is a paper mache heart that I got from Hobby Lobby. Um, and what I did was I put some tissue paper on here with Mod Podge and then scrunched it up to give it that um, veiny look and add more texture to it. 
I also used the black texture paint um, in certain areas. I just kind of dabbed it on there um, to give it an old rustic feel to make it look like the heart was has been locked away um, for a long time. And like I said, I added the Tim Holtz keyhole here. And um, I used Lindy Spray to add some more um, red color to it, but it wasn't vibrant and bright enough. So I went back over it and dabbed it with some um, stickles, some red stickles. So that's why it kind of looks vibrant but old at the same time. And I didn't do the back because the back's not going to be shown um, in the book. So I'm going to have to put that back in later. So this is what the side um, or the spine of the book looks like. And I just used the Rondell collection, like I said. And um, I have the title of the book, which is called Locked Away, A Fairy Tale. And um, the back of the book looks like this. And um, this is the paper that I used for the front as well. And then I just sprayed it with some Lindy Spray to give it an old um, feel to it. So. <clears throat> so this is what I did for the book. This is actually a gift um, for one of my hopefully new uh, YouTube friend. And um, I hope she likes it. I'm not going to say who it is just yet because she doesn't know that I'm making this for her. And um, so, yeah, I hope you guys like it. I'm also going to include some pictures of this on my blog. So be sure to go over and um, check my blog out as well. I will also put the some pictures um, on Pinterest as well. So if you aren't following me on my blog, be sure to do so. And um, go check out Two Shabby Sisters Studio. Um, and if you guys are wanting to do, you know, a few... Um, mixed media projects that have a few items in there that you could use um, as well. So thank you for watching and have a good day. Bye.